Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. This one is kind of quick. It was a Walmart grocery pickup, and honestly, it's definitely not my healthiest haul. It's filled with a lot of processed, quick, 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 quick breakfast items, quick freezer items, um, only a little bit of fruits and vegetables. No, not even vegetables, fruits. I picked it up because we are leaving for Florida for a few days for Emmy's special trip. And I wanted to have some some stuff here for the girls to have with my mom and Nin. Uh, my mom and Nin are gonna be doing dinner and things like that. So I wanted to have some quick items for them, but I'm also preparing myself for back to school because typically for back to school, I like to pre-make waffles and pre-make pancakes and sausage biscuits and breakfast burritos and stuff like that and I do still plan on doing that but I just don't have time. We're going to be gone for three whole days and the day that we get back, the next day after that, we get in super late the night before and I have a completely packed schedule and I don't plan my Costco grocery shopping trip until Sunday. So that's a whole week away and I didn't want fruits and vegetables, fresh stuff to go bad in the fridge for me just to have to rebuy it when they go back to school next week. So I nixed all of that out. So please forgive me, this is not a haul that you typically see from me. I usually have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and when we go to Costco and Sam's for our stock up haul this next week, I will. I did price out a few of the little snacky things for the girls lunches. I will have three in school, kinder, second, and sixth grade this year. They take their lunch most days, so I do do some prepackaged stuff along with leftovers and things like that for them to take, and I did take some I did buy some stuff that was easy for them to heat up and whatnot. I will say this was about $240. I think it was like 238 or 39 and some change. Um, so about $240 Walmart grocery pickup. Let's get right into it. Everly's the only kiddo with me today. And so she may, I may have some cuts if she starts screaming or anything, but I have her with a coloring book and some crowns and stuff there. So hopefully she stays quiet. Yeah, I see it and a pin, huh? You're gonna be real quiet for us? Probably not, I know. Okay, starting over here. One thing I can say about Walmart is they love to substitute stuff, and I got a lot of substitutions in this order. A lot, it was insane. So I, I got the pack of, I think it came with 12 of the mini, of the smaller Gatorade Zeros. It was a multi-pack. All they had was this Gatorade Zero grape. I'm assuming it's grape because it's purple. I don't even see, but it's the 20 ounce. I would never send the girls with a full 20 ounce Gatorade to school. They take a water bottle and yeah, so that was kind of a fail. I'll have to pick up more Gatorade when we go to Costco next week. I tried, it is what it is. We will drink them, not a big deal. I picked up a 40 pack of the smaller chips. These are the one ounce, the remote, good job. <laughs> These are the one ounce bags, so they're the smaller ones, not like the super big, perfect for lunches. And I picked up a 40 pack of them, very great price. They didn't have it apparently. What's wrong? What? The back of it's missing? No. No? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so this ended up working out in my favor. Um, this is like the medium sized bag and I got three of the 18 count. So I ended up with a little bit larger bags, 54 of them versus 40. So that ended up working out for me okay. And you'll see in a little while some of the substitutions didn't work out in my favor. That just happened to work out. So we're completely out of cereal. I don't find cereal to be overly cheap at Costco. So I typically will pick it up at the regular store. So again, I'm trying to stock up on breakfast stuff because that's really what the girls are going to be eating here and I need like quick, quick stuff. So I got two boxes of the Honey Bunches Honey Roasted, two of those, and then I got some bag. Thank you, thank you. Three of the bag cereals, so some Honey Graham, toasters, I don't know, like Fruity Pebbles type and Reese's Puffs. Again, we're not going for super healthy, we're going for quick and easy when I have to get three of them out of the house at six in the morning. I picked up some of these, I thought, I don't know, I could have sworn I only picked up one, but they ended up giving me two of the snack packs, the little thing of Pringles, the girls like those. These are for Andres. Again, I could have sworn I picked up two, so I'm not sure what happened to some of the quantities that I ended up getting, but these are his favorite little Doritos, the Chile Limon. They're, they're shaped like Dockies, but they're the Doritos brand, so he loves those. I needed some extra virgin olive oil, so I got that. Two things of sugar-free syrup. 
because we need mm. one now and I like to buy one for later. Chick-fil-A sauce, don't know what happened here because I don't, I, I could have sworn I bought two of the Chick-fil-A sauce and I got two. You want the remote back? Here, baby, here. I told you guys this was not gonna be uninterrupted. I got the two Chick-fil-A sauce that I ordered, but then I also got two Polynesian. We don't really use the Polynesian. I'm sure the girls will like it, but not sure what happened there. I got one grape jelly, one strawberry jelly. I have a little bit of peanut butter, but I'll probably pick up the bigger jar at Costco. Two light mayo. Not sure how that happened. I only bought one. And I even had to go back and look at my receipt because I'm like, why did I end up with duplicates of a lot of stuff? I really don't know. Like everything came in two. It's kind of crazy. Some things I did buy in two. Some things I didn't. Like I didn't have two mayos. I only had one. And it was the same size, so I don't know what happened. The go-go squeeze. This is kind of a crazy story as well. I bought a, let me think about this, a 40 pack. It was a 40 pack of just the applesauce. So this one actually comes with apple and a blend of apple, mango, strawberry, ban peach, banana, I think is that what it says. So they ended up giving me two of these and one of these. They each have 12. This is the peach and the strawberry. So 12, 24, 36, right? So I bought the 40 pack. So they gave me these and these two. And this is peach. And there's four in here and four in here. So again, whoever did the math, out, they could have only given me one of these and it would have been fine. I don't really know what happened. So we have those. Everly loves these and actually all the girls really like them. They're great for lunches. Costco doesn't sell the Fig Newtons like this and this is a perfect little treat for them to take to school with them. Just a little two pack of cookies. Um, so I picked up that for them. And then this was kind of a fail too. Look at this. Can you guys see how squished that is? I don't know what happened there, but hot dog buns probably can salvage those. It's fine. I did get a bunch of bananas, a uh, one bunch of bananas and a an, uh, whole milk, organic whole milk for Everly while we're gone. And then quick and easy breakfast stuff. So I got two packs of blueberry waffles and I actually ordered the great value buttermilk, the bigger pack. I think it came with 48 and they gave me two of the blueberry. So I don't know if like the back to school thing's happening or they're having shortages of stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I had so like more than half my order was substituted. It was kind of crazy. Totally fine. The girls will eat them. No big deal. I usually make my own sausage, sausage biscuits, but I thought I would give these a try. They're fully cooked. All you have to do is heat them up. The ones I make are just time consuming. They are good. The girls like them. I just figured we would try something different. So this is a sausage, egg and cheese. I got a bacon, bacon, egg and cheese with on, on a croissant and then a sausage, egg and cheese on a croissant. And then I picked up two packs of these pancake and sausage on a stick. Again, we have pancakes, we have sausage. <laughs> I just thought this was something fun for them to try. Hence why I bought all the syrup. And then I bought um, the turkey sausage, egg white and cheese. And typically I get this from Costco, but there's only eight in there. And it'll go quick because we're a family of six. So those types of things do not last us very long. Here's another thing. Look at this French toast, cut open. Box was completely misshapen. I don't know how that happened. If the bag is fine, I probably will just take it out of the bag and use it anyway, but I'm like, what the heck? So I bought two of these French toast sticks. Again, something quick and easy for them. I also bought two packs of the fruit and cream oatmeal. So we actually use one pack of this with regular oatmeal for their breakfast and they love the fruit and cream. So I got that, got two packs of the Kodiak cakes, the dark chocolate, I heard this was really good. There's so many awesome recipes on Pinterest and TikTok with this, so I'm gonna try that. And then I got some muffin mix, blueberry, to try as well. Some emergency mac and cheese. This is always a good thing to send with them to school if last minute you don't have a lunch. So I have the three pack of just regular elbow and then four of the shells. And I don't remember getting four of these. I thought I only got two, but again, everything seemed to double. And then this is hilarious because like, this is not a very big ham to feed my family. It's like the size of my hand, right? It was almost 12 bucks, not a big deal. The one that I ordered was supposed to be $28. What happened here? I don't know. I do not know. So 
that's fine. We'll be able to use it in combination with something else. I ordered the chicken apple sausage. I thought I only ordered two. I ended up with three. The bacon, I ordered... Uh, I thought I only ordered two. Maybe I did order four on this because I knew like one pack was good for a meal for us. It's the thick sliced bacon, one pound. I got four of them. Remote, thank you. Here's another one that whoever mathed did not math correctly because I ordered two of these 16 pack of the ballpark beef franks. Typically an eight pack will do us, but I, I like to have the 16 pack just for like leftovers or whatever. And again, something quick and easy to send with them to school. Apparently they only had one pack of those, so they substituted it for the eight pack, totally fine. They gave me three, eight, 16, 24. <laughs> So it worked out in my favor, but I'm just like, I really don't know what, what happened. Two eight packs equal one of the 16. So again, I'm grateful I got an extra pack of hot dogs, but it just, it, it wasn't how it was ordered. So I don't know what happened, but there are my hot dogs. I ordered a, a big pack of chicken nuggets. Again, quick and easy. And then I wanted to try these air fried chicken nuggets. I've heard they're really good, so I picked up those. Picked up a couple of the veggie tots, broccoli and cheese and cauliflower. And these, I have to go back and look at my receipt because I actually think I ordered four packs. I thought I ordered two broccoli and cheese and two cauliflower, and I only have two. So yeah, Walmart's really good. HEB's pretty good too about like if you're missing something from your order or you don't like the substitution, you can get your money back. So most of the time, I just don't even care. If I am directly missing something from the order, I'll usually message them and be like, hey, this was missing from my order, and either I can go pick it up or they'll refund me my money. It is it is what it is. I ended up, it kind of evens out because I ended up with some extras of stuff that I wasn't planning on actually getting, so whatever. And then another breakfast item, I did the unfrosted Pop-Tarts, blueberry and strawberry. The girls love Pop-Tarts, but that much sugar in the morning is kind of like, uh. So the unfrosted is perfectly fine. I did pick up a little sweet treat to end off our summer of the combo pack of uh, ice cream. It comes with like the strawberry bar, chocolate bar, and the mm, cone, whatever that cone is called. I can't really think of it right now. So I did get that. I got some popcorn. I wanted to get this at Costco, but I need some for the week for my mom, and so I just picked up that. Two things of taquitos, the chicken and cheese, and the beef taquitos. Again, super simple, easy dinners, leftovers for lunch is really great. And then the meat was <laughs> kind, of a, kind of a crazy thing too. I ordered a beef chuck roast. They substituted, that was like $17 or $18. They substituted for this crosscut shank for $4. Uh, why? I, I don't know. This, it, this is fine. I, I ended up getting, this was about the same price. This is beef bottom round, extra thin. What did I order? I ordered something different for fajitas, but this will work out fine. But this, what, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Andres is going to have to heat that up and eat it for himself. I got a big thing of lean ground beef and a pack of burgers. And now that I think about it, I don't have burger buns which was also on my order, so I'm going to have to see. Because yes, I did get that to go for a dinner. And then tater tots to go with the burgers and the hot dogs. I know, you did pretty good, mama. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so I know this was a little bit of a chaotic haul, but this is real life, it is what it is. I had no time to do anything besides a grocery pickup. And this is what happened to my order. Like I said, I know not the healthiest, like those are usually the first type of comments that I get. Like, why would you buy all that processed junk, blah, blah, blah. I already know that. I knew I needed to prep some for the beginning of school and while we were out of town. So I ended up getting this stuff and I will definitely get all my fresh and healthy stuff from Costco and Sam's next week. So stay tuned for that haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hectic haul that I had. We'll see you guys in the next one.